What if you could control your hardware synths with drawable LFOs? Or expand other plugins with Cable Guys modulation? Well, you can with MIDI Shaper. Designed for MIDI power users, this modern update of a classic Cable Guys plugin brings our LFOs and envelopes to your MIDI synths and effects. We've given it a modern interface, our latest LFO drawing, and Apple Silicon and VST3 compatibility. So today I'll take you on a quick tour of MIDI Shaper, using it to control hardware and software. So what is MIDI Shaper? Here's what you need to know. Even though it has Shaper in the name, this is not an effect for ShaperBox. MIDI Shaper is a completely separate plugin. It doesn't make or process sound. Instead, it outputs MIDI CC data. First, connect MIDI Shaper to any plugin or hardware that can receive MIDI CCs. Our manual and setup guides explain how to do this in different doors. Here I'm using MIDI Shaper to control Yuhi's Diva synth. MIDI Shaper has 10 editable waves. Start with one of the wave presets and customize it. Or design curves, steps, ramps, or any shape from scratch, or using the same waveform drawing from our other plugins. Each wave can be assigned to any of the LFOs in the four sources. And each source also has a classic AHDSR envelope. From here, use the powerful mod matrix to modulate pitch bend, mod wheel, or aftertouch, and up to six more MIDI CCs of your choice. MIDI Shaper is also a powerful tool for upgrading your outboard synths and effects. If it will accept MIDI CCs, MIDI Shaper will expand its modulation capabilities. This is Moog's Matriarch synth connected to the computer via USB MIDI. Here I've routed MIDI Shaper's output to the Matriarch. This analog synth is already a powerful beast, but combine it with MIDI Shaper's drawable LFOs and modulation, and you get even more rhythmic inspiration. MIDI Shaper is out now. For full details of every feature, check out our PDF manual. And to find out more and try the demo, head to cableguys.com.